Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side. If you're frustrated with some kind of health challenge that you or a loved one is dealing with, you need help, if you have questions about formulations, ingredients, skin health products, our truth treatment products, or a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, please head to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. That's brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase longevity products or sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And if you want to uh, purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, including our Truth Transdermal C Balm, Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, and now our new Biomimetic Priming Mist made with fulvic minerals as well as hyaluronic acid, sodium lactate, and amino acids. Amino acids are part of what's called the natural moisture factor, as we've been talking about on the bright side for the last couple of weeks, fulvic minerals help pull the vitamin C into the skin and into cells themselves. Fulvic acid has a fulvic acid and fulvic minerals have a magnetic property. Their main role is to feed and nourish cells and they'll pull things along with them to feed and nourish the cells when other uh, substances are combined. Thus the importance and the relevance and the functionality of our truth biomimetic mineral priming mist made with fulvic minerals as well as high aluronic acid, sodium lactate, and amino acids. You can find out all our, about all our truth treatment products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. And we have indeed been talking about the skin now for, uh, for probably going on two months. I've been studying skin now for 35 years since the early 1980s. We really didn't know a lot about the skin in the early 1980s. It wasn't until the 90s, the middle of the 90s, actually, 93, 94, 95, that we really started to get a handle on what was going on in the skin when it healed itself, when it moisturized itself. We found out that the skin is part of the nervous system. The skin is making hormones. It's making brain chemicals. The skin is so intricate and so complicated and so un unbelievably fascinating. It's a smart organ. It's a, 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 an intelligent organ that lives on the outside of our body. And as I say, it is considered to be our third brain. Second brain is the digestive system. The third brain is considered to be the skin. We've been talking about skin dryness, which seems to affect almost everybody, despite the fact almost everybody is using moisturizers. We're buying culturally. We're spending tens of millions of dollars, maybe hundreds of millions of dollars on so-called moisturizing products. Moisturizer, as we've said, is just an advertising word. It's a marketing word. It's a neologism, a made-up word. Neologism means made-up word. Marketers love making up words, especially when the words sound like something, like they mean something. Moisturizer sounds like moisture. Oh, wow, I'm putting moisture on my skin. No, you cannot put moisture on your skin by rubbing a cream on it. What you can do is you can soften your skin, and that's what we all do. We soften our skin, and moisturizers should be called softenizers. If we have dry skin, 
we've got a problem with the skin cell. No surprise, because all disease is cell disease. Skin is supposed to stay hydrated by its barrier, which is a function of skin cell growth. It's supposed to stay, function, uh, it's supposed to stay hydrated via lipids or fats, again, a function of healthy skin cells. It's supposed to stay moist and soft and hydrated via, lip, uh, via the natural moisture factor, or the NMF, which is made up of uh, uh, mostly of amino acids. The NMF, once again, is a function of healthy skin cells, and the skin is supposed to stay hydrated with water. But you can't just put water on the skin. That's not going to get you the hydrated skin. In fact, that's going to cause, if you do it enough, it'll cause wounding to the skin. So you can't get water to the skin if you have dryness by putting water on it, and you can't get water to the skin necessarily by drinking water. That's why the old wives' tale, which unfortunately is a modern wives' tale, even skincare professionals will tell you, even dermatologists will tell you, if you have dry skin, to drink more water. Baloney. That's not how, that's not going to help your dry skin. You name me one human being who's ever got rid of their dry skin by drinking more water. Anybody out there? Anybody out there drink more water and your dry skin went away? It doesn't happen. Because it's not, the, it's not a lack of water that causes the dry skin. It's a lack of water transport. The movement of water. The movement of water is channeled through the skin cell via little pores, little, little openings called aquaporins, which we didn't even know existed until 1992. These aquaporins are actually openings in the cell, in the skin cell, or in other cells too for that matter, but we're talking about skin cells here. These aquaporins, A-Q-U-A-P-O-R-I-N, there's probably a dozen or maybe more, maybe 20 different aquaporins in the body, but mainly there's one in the skin. This aquaporins are openings in the cell that water goes through. Also glycerin, interestingly enough, goes through these, these little openings in the cell, and this is how cells stay hydrated. And by the way, when cells stay hydrated, they function better. The hydration of the cell is not only functional for keeping your skin soft and hydrated, it's also important for cell growth and cell division and cell chemistry because cellular chemistry depends on a hydrated cell. Oh, by the way, fulvic minerals help facilitate the movement of water into the cells. So by using fulvic minerals or by eating fulvic minerals, you can actually improve skin cell hydration by putting fulvic minerals on the surface of the skin. You can improve skin cell hydration. This property of fulvic acid and fulvic minerals, and by the way, fulvic acid and fulvic minerals are essentially, not exactly, but essentially synonymous. Fulvic acid traps minerals, and fulvic acid is typically bound up with minerals. So I'm going to use those terms interchangeably. They're basically the same thing. But in any case, fulvic acid and fulvic minerals pull water into the cells. This is one reason why you want to make sure you're eating your veggies. Veggies being a source of fulvic acid and fulvic minerals. The way skin cells stay hydrated, stay water bound, is through the entrance of water via aquaporins and, and fulvic minerals can help facilitate this. They act as water magnets into the cell. All, this, all what I'm saying here, folks, is that dry skin and hydrated skin are functions of the skin cell. And this should come as no surprise to anybody who listens to this program because if we have all that we've said once, we've said it a thousand times, all disease is cell disease. If we have dry skin, our skin cells are not healthy. All disease is cell disease. Dry skin is a skin cell issue, period. Now, the most functional part of a skin cell is the membrane, the outside part. That's where the aquaporins are. And that's where... Uh, the information processing takes place. The cellular membrane is a computer chip. It processes information every bit as much as a computer chip. It processes the information in terms of electricity. Information is carried on electrical energy, and the fatty membrane, the, uh, the skin cell membrane or the fatty membrane, is an infra electrical information processor. It processes information using electrical energy. It is the most electrical part of a cell. And when we have a disease and we say all disease is cell disease, we got a defect at the membrane first. And because the membrane is the brain, this should make perfect sense. Because it's the membrane that's, that's telling the inside what's going on on the outside. When that breaks down, of course you're going to have a problem. So what do you do? You focus on the membrane health. This is, the latest, this is one of the newest uh, uh, aspects of medicine, is this idea of membrane replacement, membrane replacement therapy. We'll talk about that when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Okay, we 
are back on the bright side. I'm Farms Ben, 844 236 6010 is our number, and we've got a bunch of empty lines here. So if you tried to call in the past and got a busy signal, now's the time to give us a call, 844 236 6010, and we will get your calls at the bottom of the hour, as we always do on the bright side. We are on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24 7 on the archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com. Also, brightsideben.com. If you like what you hear, tell your friends. You can also purchase longevity products off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And you can purchase all our truth treatment products, including our new biomimetic priming mist at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking about dry skin and skin health issues in general. The epidermis, the surface of the skin, is like the membrane of the body. The membrane is extremely important for a cell. The membrane is an information processor. And the, the membrane is like, a little, uh, is like a little computer chip. Well, the epidermis itself, the, skin's, the skin itself has an analogous membrane that is like a computer chip. It's, but it's like an intricate computer chip because it's made up of a bunch of little computer chips. So it's like, a, it's like a big computer. It's like a hard drive. Each cell can be thought of, each cell membrane can be thought of as a little computer chip. And then the skin itself can be thought of as a whole complex of computer chips. And that's why scientists refer to it as the third brain. All of this is to say that if you want to be healthy inside and out, you want to work on the membrane. If you've got a skin problem, you want to work on the membrane whether it's the epidermal membrane or the skin cell membrane. And this whole idea of membrane research is really kind of an up-and-coming uh, therapeutic modality. And we've got a paper here from the journal Biochemica et Biophysica Acta, which I have no idea what that means. Biochemistry and biophysics. I don't know what Acta means. Anyway, this, from, uh, this is from April 2017. Headline, Membrane Lipid Replacement for Chronic Illnesses, Aging, and Cancer using formulations to restore phospholipid struct function. Phospholipids are a key component of the membrane. In cellular membranes, organelles, cells, and tissues. Where'd you hear that before? We've been talking about the membrane for decades. I have anyway. In this program, we talk about the membrane all the time. I've been talking about it for years. Now they've got something called membrane lipid replacement. This is the latest, latest and greatest, because it's all about the membrane. The membrane's magic. Membranes everywhere are magic. Membranes are where this gets turned to that, where the outside gets turned to the inside, where the outside world gets interpreted and then it becomes the inside world. Membranes are always magic. Membranes are where transformation occurs. And understanding the power of the membrane is so darn important when it comes to having pretty skin, beautiful skin. This isn't all just sciencey here. This is about having beautiful skin. This is about having not really, truly hydrated skin, not softenized skin with your fancy schmancy moisturizer or your cheap moisturizer. I get people asking me all the time, are you truth treatments moisturizers? Do I need to use moisturizers? No, you shouldn't use moisturizers unless you're absolutely in complete agony and you need to put something on the skin to soften it. Use coconut oil. Don't go out and put a bunch of crap on your skin. But the real trick to having your skin comfortably hydrated is to work on it from the inside. Work on the skin cell. Work on the membrane of the skin cell. The epidermis is itself a membrane, and it's an information processor. The epidermis itself, the surface of the skin, communicates signals from the outside world to the body underneath. Just like a cell membrane communicates information from where it's sitting to the inside, the epidermis does the same thing. It's the third brain. The epidermal membrane via the skin cells. The skin cells are like the building blocks. They're the computer chips. You can think of the epidermis as a computer, and you can think of the skin cells as the little computer chips. The skin cells are the membrane of the membrane, or the skin cell membranes. They're the membrane of the membrane. And they have an ability, and the epidermis itself has an ability to sense temperature, mechanical stresses, trauma, damage, chemical stimuli. The skin cell membrane can do it, and the epidermis itself. And by the way, the epidermis... And the keratinocytes, I should say. The epidermis is, is made up of all the keratinocytes. There's really no epidermis. It's, it's a, com, a, a combination or a com, compilation of all the keratinocytes. The keratinocytes, they make nerve chemicals. They make brain chemicals. They make serotonin. They make dopamine. 
They make their own brain chemicals, just like your brain. When I say it's your third brain, it is literally your skin, your epidermis is literally a third brain. It does everything our brain does. It makes the same chemicals the brain does. That means your epidermis, your skin, has an effect on, your, on our thinking. It has an effect on our neurology. It has a, an effect on our emotions. And it can sense electrical energy too, by the way. And that's where Reiki, if you ever heard of Reiki, R-E-I-K-I, that's what the theory of Reiki is. Reiki is almost like people, doctors will tell you it's quackery because they can't figure out how it works. Reiki is when they take, your, take their uh, a thera- uh, a practitioner, a, a therapist, a Reiki practitioner will take their hand and they'll, they'll kind of wave it over the top of your body. And by waving it, not even touching your body, just waving it over the top of your body, by waving it over the top of your body, they change the electrical energy, just like acupuncture changes the electrical energy of the epidermis and then what's underneath. And through things like intense and focus and concentration, they can direct those changes and heal the body. That's how Reiki works. And it's been around for a long time. And the only people who think it's quackery are people who don't understand this electrical nature of the third brain. Does Reiki work? You better believe it does. And you know what? You can do it to yourself. You can do your own Reiki on your arm. And if you're sensitive, do it on any part of your body. If you take your hand and you wave it very slightly over the surface, and by over the surface I mean like a quarter inch, just over, if you, have, if you have a lot of body hair, then just over the body hair. Or if you don't have any body hair, just over the skin. And if you very, pay very close attention and you close your eyes, you will actually feel energy. And it can actually feel pretty good. And that energy, if, if you do it correctly, and that energy that's, that you're sensing is the keratinocyte. The keratinocyte is picking up that energy. It's a brain, and it's communicating it to the nerves. All of this is to say that there's way more to the skin than meets the eye, and there's way more to treating dry skin than smearing some cream on top of it. In an article from the journal Acupuncture and Meridian Studies, April 2014, Scientists proposed that keratinocytes form a, quote, information-gathering network in the skin, and this network plays a key role in whole-body homeostasis in response to the changing environment, unquote. It's exactly what I'm talking about. The keratinocytes are an information-gathering network, i.e. a brain, and then they transmit that information to control your blood pressure, to control your kidney function, to control your digestive system to change the way you think, to change the way your uh, blood moves through the circulatory system, to heal the body, to grow the body. Now, it's not going to be as dramatic as, a, as taking a drug. You're not going to notice it that dramatically. It's subtle, but it's there. And it's not just me talking. This is the Journal of Acupuncture Meridian Studies, and there's lots more scientific studies now about how the, uh, the skin cell itself, the, the skin cell and the skin itself is the third brain. All of this is to say there is magic in the membranes. Membranes transfer the outside from the inside, and they do this by taking data, information, and then processing it electromagnetically through their cholesterol, through their essential fatty acids, through their phospholipids. That is lecithin. These are all the electrochemical, highly electrochemical molecules that are sitting in the membrane. And if that's not a reason to take your ultimate EFAs, by the way, I don't know what is. When you take your ultimate EFAs, it's the most important part of the membrane or, the, uh, or your essential fatty acids, as well as your cholesterol, by the way. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. We'll return right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. I am Pharmacist Ben. And I also want to remind you to check out our Truth Treatment products, which are all available at truthtreatments.com. Our new transdermal, or our new biomimetic priming mist joins our transdermal C serum, transdermal C balm, and our Truth Omega-6 healing cream and Truth Retinol 5% gel. They're all up at truthtreatments.com truthtreatments.com. 844-236-6010 is our number. We do have lines open for you, and we'll get your calls here in just a sec, so hang tight. Uh, have you guys heard of Deep Ocean Minerals, D-O-M? D-O-M are the latest and greatest of new, uh, new supplements that you can get. Deep Ocean Minerals are minerals that are found or that are harvested deep in the ocean, as the term Deep Ocean Minerals implies, and apparently the minerals that are uh, deeper in the ocean or there's more abundant concentration of minerals and the water's pure deep in the ocean and also 
uh, these deep ocean minerals are uh, when they're located lower in the uh, ocean surface or closer to the soil, the, or not soil, but the ocean floor, the ocean bed, uh, the bed of the ocean, like the bed of like uh, soils, contain lots of minerals left behind by vegetation and plants that have been uh, over the course of uh, millions and millions and millions of years, hundreds of millions of years, have been living in the ocean. And as they decay and deteriorate, they leave behind their minerals, much the same way as as, uh, as colloidal minerals and fulvic minerals and humic minerals are found in soil above the ocean. So it turns out that these do deep ocean minerals are incredibly powerful. According to a new study, this one from the University of Derby in England, oral supplementation of deep ocean minerals improves exercise performance in middle-aged men. A new study by an international team of academics has shown that drinking a supplement contain, containing deep ocean minerals could provide significant benefits to middle-aged men both during and after intensive exercise. I should tell you that this is desalinated deep ocean minerals. It doesn't have a sodium and chloride. They take the salt out. And they leave behind all of the other minerals. And it turns out that these things can have very, very important health benefits. In an article, another article, this one was done on, uh, uh, from the, in the journal Frontiers in Physiology, December 12th, last year, 2017. Deep ocean mineral supplementation enhances the cerebral hemodynamic response during exercise and decreases inflammation. But basically, it makes your brain work better. That's a second study. Makes perfect sense, though, these deep ocean minerals. Now, there's companies marketing these deep ocean minerals, and they're sponsoring the studies, but nonetheless, it does make sense. And uh, you, soon you will find deep ocean minerals in your sports nutrition drink, in your sports nutrition beverage, in your post-workout beverage, in your, uh, in your protein powders, in functional foods, in uh, dietary supplements. You will soon see, I'm predicting, in the very near future, a year or less, you will start to see deep ocean minerals as a supplement. Well, we know from longevity that our colloidal minerals, all the colloidal minerals and plant-derived minerals are basically the same thing, thus vindicating or thus proving Dr. Wallach's prescience and, and, and deep understanding or powerful understanding of how the human body is put together in terms of minerals. All right, so let's see here. Neuroscientists say daily ibuprofen can prevent Alzheimer's disease. How do you like that? I wonder what that's about. Let's, let's look into this here. It's about 5 million or 6 million people in the United States with Alzheimer. Alzheimer's disease. And by the way, Alzheimer's disease sometimes gets lumped into the idea of dementia generically. Alzheimer's disease is early onset dementia. If you, get, if you know somebody or if you, if you have a loved one who's going through or dealing with dementia and they're in their 80s or 70s even, that's not Alzheimer's disease. That's dementia of aging, which is the same, really the same thing. It's deterioration of the brain. With Alzheimer's disease, it happens way too early. It happens in, the, in your 50s. Or early 60s, maybe. Sometimes even in your 40s, you can have really early onset uh, Alzheimer's disease, and that is the true disease. In any case, they lump them together. So I'm not sure when they say, uh, all, according to the Alzheimer's Association, there's five or six, five to six million uh, cases uh, of Alzheimer's, and I'm not sure if it's early onset dementia or dementia. But in any case, our brains are deteriorating. No surprise, our whole bodies are deteriorating way too early. Part of that deterioration or one of the causes of that deterioration is microinflammation. Remember, we're whole, all disease is cell disease, all cell disease is starvation, suffocation, toxification, leads to inflammation. All of these are the fundamental components of disease. Inflammation means that the body's protecting itself. It's a protective response. Doctors and neuroscientists, apparently, love using anti-inflammatory drugs. So they give you anti-inflammatories. Now, yes, you may be able to prevent inflammation, but you're still going to deal, have to deal with the toxicity and the dying cells. And, that's, and then your body now has, more of a, uh, has a bigger toxic load that it has to deal with. When you take ibuprofen, it's not like you're taking a vitamin that's used. The body wants to get rid of that ibuprofen or any drug. Any drug, prescription or over-the-counter drug, represents, this is the definition of a drug. Okay, listen up. This is the distinction between a drug and a nutrient and the definition of a drug. A drug is a substance that the body wants to eliminate quickly and that it has to use its detoxification machinery or processing in order to utilize. That detoxification machinery or processing requires vitamin C, it requires zinc, it requires copper, it requires manganese, magnesium, it requires vitamin E, it requires all kinds of nutrients that you are now wasting or expending getting rid of the drug. <laughs> I mean, again, this is just common sense. This is the main reason why drugs are such a hideous therapeutic approach. Unless you have no other choice, which occasionally happens, 
I'm not Pollyannish about this. There are times you need drugs. But when you're on one chronically, you have now added to the load. Tell that to the d- doctor who wants to give you a statin drug. Tell that to the doctor who wants to keep you on a drug for the rest of your life. You're now depleting your body of nutrients. That's what a drug does. Nutrients, on the other hand, are used. They're incorporated. They're assimilated. They are leveraged. They are taken advantage of. They are stored. What else do you need to hear? Nutrients are stored. Drugs are eliminated and quickly. So yes, while neuroscientists can say that ibuprofen can prevent Alzheimer's disease, and if your doctor now is reading health journals, he'll say, oh, we're going to give you a little bit of prophylactic, that means preventative, prophylactic ibuprofen, just in case, because your grandmother and grandfather and parent and mom had Alzheimer's disease, and we know it's genetic, and so you have a genetic, because it's in your genes, that's what the doctor will say. I'm saying lay off the sugar or at least reduce your intake of it and make sure you're loading up on nutrients, especially brain nutrients, especially fats. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's hit the phones and say good morning to Robert in Ohio. What's up, Robert? Hi, uh, Dr. Ben, or I mean, Pharmacist Ben. Pharmacist Ben, yeah, I'm doing well. How are you, sir? I think you and Doc Wallach are amazing guys, and I Thank you. listen to you guys all the time. So. Oh, I appreciate that. Uh, I appreciate being uh, mentioned in the same sentence as Doc. That means a lot to me. Yeah, Thank Dr. you. Dr. Wallach, uh, it's kind of a broken record, but he is right. He's it's a, right, it's a right? a message to follow, but he's right. I mean, he's just and you know, right. So. Have you seen him? Have you seen him pre- in person? No, I have not. Not in person. Okay, so, let me, so the reason I ask you that is because you say it's a hard message to follow. When he does his presentations, not only does he simplify it, but he makes it entertaining. And he's getting, I went to see him a couple, I've been going to see him for 20 years now, but I went to see him a couple of months ago in February, about a month and a half ago, and he, it was the best one I've seen, best presentation I've seen. It was so funny, yeah. so entertaining, no, so no, filled with good information. No, his message is easy, I'm sorry, but his message is easy to follow. It's his, it's hard to Oh, to stick live. with it, um, to stick with it. Stick with it, you know, because, yeah. you know, you're going to have to almost be a hermit. <laughs> so, yeah, but here's the thing, you don't have to have zero tolerance, and he's, he's talking like, you know, if you want to go 100%. Even if you go 50%, you're still 50% ahead of where you were before. Follow me? So I don't don't feel like you have to follow everything. Hang on. We'll finish up when we come back. And we do have lines open. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll return on the bright side right after this. Back on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. Got lines open for you. We're talking to Robert in Ohio. You there, Robert? Yes, I am. Yeah, so before we went to break, I was telling you, I was saying how you don't have to feel like you have to go 100% on everything. Because sometimes that's intimidating. Like you say, it could be hard, right? But if you even just do a little bit. You're going to be better off than you would be if you didn't do it. If you didn't, uh, if you didn't do anything at all. So even if you just take the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, just for example, that's just one example. Or if you just take the BTT, or even if you just exercise five minutes once a week, or, or ten minutes once a yeah. week, even if you well, just walk up and down the sta- up and down the stairs. The food part is that what you're thinking? Well, yeah. But, well, I've been gluten free for three years now, and uh, the food part's a really little been. tricky. You know why the food part's so yeah. tricky? Do you know why it's so tricky? Ooh, because it's, we're, we're bombarded with all this stuff. So. It's a combination of two things. Number one, yes, we're bombarded with, with uh, messaging from people who know our hot buttons and from uh, uh, foods that are, are chemically manipulated to hit our hot buttons in combination, this is very important right now, what I'm going to say, in combination with an inordinate amount of stress, an inordinate amount of cortisol. Cortisol and stress will keep you on an eating treadmill because cortisol lo- raises your blood sugar and then lowers it. So this, the effects of cortisol plus the fact that we have created a, a culture and an a industry where, uh, where we are, uh, our uh, need for food or our desires for food or the wiring, the hard wiring that we have for food is hacked into nefariously for profit. So when you eat a food, it's not even you deciding to. It's your pr- ancient programming in your brain responding to the chemicals that has been stuck in there to keep you eating. And there's lots of them. Mm. 
The only foods that don't have those chemicals are, a whole, are, are unprocessed foods. And that's one of the main reasons why you want to eat as much unprocessed food as possible. And right. that also means that if you're really hungry, sometimes it's better to be hungry than to eat the processed food. Sometimes you're, if from a strictly health perspective, you're better off not eating as than eating a processed food. Now, is this difficult? Oh, absolutely. It's, it can be a little bit tricky. I, I agree. But if you do a little bit, just even yeah. if you just change your diet a little right. bit, you're going to be better for it. So I'm sorry. Okay. What's going I'm on? Gonna right? just make one, one com- I'm going to make one comment about the ox bile, and that, that cured my dry lips. I had perpetual dry lips. And, the and, ox bile uh, did. I apparently, when processing my fats properly, and I heard you talk about it. that, and it's so, and then uh, I want to talk about a uh, 79-year-old lady. Um, she's after around Christmas time. She started getting highly dementia and uh, and stiff and uh, okay. uh, dry skin. And uh, I, well, she just been to her doctor and uh, found out she really wasn't. She quit taking her thyroid medication. She had low thyroid. Okay. So that was basically all the symptoms, and uh, she's been on a nutritional program, and she is gluten-free. Uh, she seems to still like ice cream, but uh, they you put her on... Uh, oh, iodine, Synthroid. Synthroid or iodine? Oh, uh, well, I... Levothyroxine. Yeah, Levothyroxine, I believe. Yeah, that's, then, that's, uh, you know, that's just uh, thyroid hormone. Stupidity, just st- dumb. Ask anybody who's taken Synthroid how well it works for them. It, it's just a dumb drug. Because the problem isn't the thyroid hormone, and you can't replace a thyroid hormone with a drug. You can't replace any hormone with a drug. There's no such thing as bioidentical. Even if you feel slightly better when you take your Synthroid, you haven't done anything for your thyroid. And most people don't even feel slightly better. Some people do feel a little bit better when they're on their thyroid uh, hormone. I, I'm t- I tell you, I'm, t- I'm telling a huge difference in her, her mood just after a couple of days. It's like she's, her, she's got her some thyroid hormone in her life. Because she's got some right, thyroid hormone right. in her, yeah. That's what I say. Sometimes, if you're if you're completely eliminated, you don't you're not making any, and you put the thyroid hormone back in, uh, you'll get some benefit. And the, and the people who get the most benefit are the people who are the sickest. This is always true about nutrition and a, about anything really, because the body, uh, when it's deficient in something like a hormone or like a, a nutrient, it's has it, it looks all over for that substance, and as soon as it sees it, it grabs onto it. It hugs it. It won't let it go. It, it's like a dry sponge sucks up more water than a wet sponge. So, yes, you will notice results, but it's going to plateau. And then, and this is what okay. happens. When people are really uh, deficient in thyroid hormone, they'll notice some results, and then they plateau, and then the doctor has to change the dose. And then they may yeah. get a little bit bat- more, but they get less benefit, and gradually they'll get less and less benefit from raising the dose. It doesn't, and ultimately it's not even going to work because the problem isn't the thyroid hormone. The problem is the thyroid and the problem isn't right. even really the thyroid. It's why the thyroid is messed up. Now, most hypothyroidism is autoimmune-based. There's also a cortisol issue, and there's an estrogen issue, which is why most hypothyroid patients are women. And so, But everybody, if you're sick, you, you can rest assured you've got a thyroid problem. It's, it's not the thyroid that needs to be addressed. It's the blood sugar and the digestive system. I call the thyroid the third point of the triangle of disease, but on, in a triangle, the base is the first two points. The thyroid is the, t- the tip, and from there, or the adrenal thyroid complex, from there, you have the jumping off point to all health, all health challenges, all degenerative health challenges, period. That's it, folks. That's a, that triangle is fundamental. There ain't nothing more fundamental than the triangle except for maybe the base of the triangle, which is the digestive system and the blood sugar system. So if you want to work on the thyroid, you work on the blood sugar and the digestive system, and that's it. That's how you focus on it. And, and your point, though, is your initial point, Robert, was well taken. That is easier said than done because we yeah. get hooked on foods. So at least get yourself on the nightly essence probiotics. At least start using your ultimate enzymes and apple cider vinegar with your meals. At least try to practice caloric restriction. At least eat more protein and more fat and try and go ketogenic if you can and, and eat a little less bread and a little less cereal and a little less desserts. A little bit, not a lot. And as far as the brain goes, and the brain is processing most of the, most of the nutrients in the body go to the brain, understandably so. Um, All right. She'll benefit a lot from things like zinc, vitamin C, vitamin A, the yeah. Beyond Tangy Tangerine, the Ultimate EFA. Is this a friend of yours? My mother. So. Oh, it's your mother. Okay, good. Can you make her homemade chicken soup? 
I I've been doing that for a couple weeks or a couple months now. And, okay. Uh, and she I'm loves sure. She, it. I'm she sure she it. loves it. I'm sure she loves it. It's yeah. doing wonders for her body and for her brain. Yeah. This is one she, of the uh, even hidden benefits. Says it's like medicine too. She says it's like uh, medicine, that's beautiful. So. That's beautiful. Put lots of salt yeah. in there. Put lots of uh, Celtic yeah. Celtic sea salt or Himalayan yeah. salt. No, you're gonna add. Himalayan you're salt. gonna add years to your mama's life. You're gonna have your mama so much longer, and she's gonna be so much more with it uh, than if you didn't do this. By the way, there's one really stupendous nutrient that's very underappreciated for brain health and for older folks, especially, and that's uh, coenzyme Q10. Uh, and also, uh, now that I think I about it. I have her on it. I, have get her her on, uh, I don't have her on Do you have the uh, ubiquinol? I yeah, get her on the ubiquinol, ubiquinol, I was going to say, and yeah. have her do maybe, have her do maybe uh, 200 milligrams a day of the ubiquinol, which is a big dose. Okay. But this, it's worth okay. it, and, it's, and ubiquinol is a little pricey, so it's a little expensive, of course, no, but yeah, that's it, it'll problem. be worth it. Price. And then also vitamin yeah. E. Uh, vitamin E in the toco trienol form, have her do 400 okay. international units a day. Vitamin E in the toco trienol form. And this is in addition to the healthy star pack and the basic nutrients. This is kind of extra. And then I would also toss in, if you can, toss in some zinc, 50 okay. milligrams a day so the, zinc. the doctor also had her on a Xanax, like a serotro... Yeah, like to have her rela- Yeah, to and, relax her. Uh, her mood, and, and I'm, I'm not really... well. She, she was having crying fits, and she was really dementia. I mean, really bad. So for mood, dementia I, reverses. I'm, I'm not, dementia reverses. Dementia will yeah, reverse. I'm not. I'm not, to, I'm not totally against. I mean, not not long term, of course. But and then he, he put her on a, um, a statin drug, and I said, no way, you're not taking a statin. I, I that would be this. That, that's got that's position. Yeah, that's stupidity. Yeah. That's that's her, stupidity. her cholesterol was about two eighty. Um, Whatever, and She's, I think that you, could be a thyroid problem. So. N- well, it's definitely a thyroid. It's definitely part of the thyroid, absolutely. But it's also part of the stress. When the body is in that kind right. of duress, it cranks out the cholesterol. But absolutely, the thyroid's that's, that's involved. Why, in- that's why. That's why I told my brother. I said, "Hey, that's 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 part that's, that's part of the you're you're it's like a dam breaking and you're trying to plug the holes. It's like basically this is, this is basically yeah, it represents so. a body's coping mechanism. The thyroid's involved, yeah. the blood sugar system's involved. But the good news is, is dementia's reverse, and and you'll probably know yeah. see that your mom gets worse, she gets better, and she gets worse depending on certain things. Yeah. It happens to all dementia yeah. patients. They get better and they get worse. They have good days and they have bad days, and that alone tells you that it's reversible." If you know you have good yeah. days and bad days, you just got to figure out what's turning the good, the bad day into a good day. And I would tell you it has everything to do with uh, things like nutrition and oxygenation and relaxation. Actually, there's a bunch of stuff. But nutrition is key and food is key and diet is key and the digestive system is key as always. Should be, it shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody. Hey, Robert, thanks. I got to go. Thanks for your call. God right, bless you, you and your mom. Bye. Good luck with everything. All right. That's it. And that's all the time we have for today. Please check out all the longevity products at BrightsideBend.com, PharmacistBend.com, and CriticalHealthNews.com. And we'd love to have you on the Brightside Bend team as well. Call 866-735-2470 for more information on how you can start yourself a longevity business. And I can help you build that business as well. Call 866-735-2470. And then check out our truth treatment products at TruthTreatments.com, our Truth Transdermal C Balm, and our award-winning Truth Transdermal C Serum, our super mega high-powered potent Truth Retinol 5% Gel, and our brand new Truth Biomimetic priming mist made with fulvic minerals. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to y'all later, folks. Bye for now.